Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Something for the engine. Bit of uh, an expensive item, this one, but it was one that I thought we should replace. I like the packaging, guys. Oh, it's so pretty and blue. Oh, look at the colour. It's very nice. Caps. This is our new heat exchange. So, I will show you, but our other one's all blown off and corroded. I'd say it hasn't had its zinc changed, and it's something I didn't want to muck around with. If, when I do pull the old one off, if it looks like it is savable, I'll maybe recondition it and have it as a spare on the boat. Otherwise, we got a new one. Because we got a new one, he's going to take that old one out, but there's some pipes and things that he's... Alright, how about you tell everybody what you're doing there? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, where do you start and where do you stop? Obviously, there's our old loam that needs attention at some stage. But yeah, I'm just, like, I'm replacing the heat exchanger and I'm like... I just like to, you know, with these little hoses and pipe clips just to sort of redo them as I go. Or I start ripping into it, making sure I've got the materials to do the job. This is another job. It's not bad, but it's not good. So this is our exhaust elbow, and there's actually pinholes where it's sort of just started bleeding and corroding. So one of the many jobs to do. I'm going to just clean this up a little bit and then we're going to have to find a stainless steel welder and get him to put another bead or reinforce or whatever he thinks. It's all pretty solid, it just seems to have pitted out around the weld so obviously got a big thick collar on here so just depending on what how much body's in this which feels pretty solid I think it's more so just in the weld quality so we'll get him to re-weld all around here one of those jobs we'll just tidy up before it becomes a big problem. It hasn't been running water, but it's just been bleeding. So, it's got to be done. There's no time like the now. But yeah, I just got some little goodies to work with. I've actually got a bit of corrosion from where there's been salt water. Um, so I'm going to have to wire brush this and clean all this up here. Get Sarah to come around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the old heat exchange. Now here's behind the old heat exchange. There's a little bit of corrosion there. I'm going to get into there with a wire brush and some cleaner and prime all this back up before we install our new um, heat exchange. So leave me with it and I'll get into this for a bit and give it a clean up. Bella, could you get me the parts cleaner please? Alright, we'll come see his handiwork in a minute. Okay. Where or maybe two? It? Maybe ten. <laughs> Righto, cut. This guy's in the engine. Taj is outside on the grinder. How's he going out there? Oh, he's having a play around on the hatches. Uh, there's a lot of work to do on them. I won't go into too much detail, but we're going to keep the hatches raw, I think. I was 95% the other day, and I've just spoken to our friend. Actually, I've spoken to a lot of people, <laughs> and people swing one way or the other. You're either for aluminium raw or you're completely against them, it should be coated. I don't feel like <laughs> painting them and having to do it again in two years. I'd rather go and have a dive somewhere and enjoy myself. We're often no, if we can do no maintenance. No maintenance, guys. But on a maintenance note, the engine is where I'd actually rather put some time and energy into. So I've removed the heat exchange. I've actually got a little bit of prep work here where salt water's been coming out of the lines. I'm just gonna clean that all up, maybe give a little spray paint. Yeah, so we'll get our heat exchange on, new pipes, new clips. That's the sort of maintenance you want to sort of focus on. These things that can actually cause you real problems down the track. Uh, Bella is his lovely assistant today. She's disappeared. I don't know where <laughs> she is. Bella, what are you doing? Hey guys, so today I am Dad's assistant and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Are you ready to help? Come, oh, she's going to so work you know, it up on the matching today. Star of the show is here. All right, Belle, can you go in the engine room for me, please? And there's a... See what that guy wants. Does he want a battery, Bella? Have a battery ready for him. So he just asked me to pass him a Stanley knife. So I've got to find a Stanley knife. It's really what it is, is getting everything that Dad wants and holding things.
I got it. And a lamp. Thank you. Little flathead screwdriver. I gave him the broken one, it worked, but now he's asking for a punch. So I gave him a punch in the face and he didn't like that and got angry. So I guess I'll get the punch tool. I'm kidding, I got the punch. Thank you. And a rag plays belly. Thank you. I decided I'm gonna multitask. I'm gonna make a video. Bella? While I help. Yes. I'm gonna get me the pipe upstairs. Oh. Sorry. Don't wanna get electrocuted. Oh, I got it. Um, brush like a thin one to clean the pipes out. Okay, we're going in again. This is too big. Like a toilet cleaner? Yeah, that little one is there. There's a big one. Like a Getting serious now, pulling out the hand tools. I haven't tried this before, but I haven't actually got a hacksaw and I don't have pipe cutters. I don't even know if this will work. Probably need a battery bell. <laughs> All right, she's looking a little pretty. I just tidied up the corrosion there and I've just replaced this pipe. I've just replaced another pipe here. I've got two more pipes here, and then we can put the new heat exchange on. I'm just, while I've got all this off, I've gone to the extra effort of just replacing all the pipe clips, all the pipes. I'm not being too tidy with the painting side of it, it's more just to seal it up. So, to prevent any rust. Okay. Keep going, guys. Woo! Looks pretty good. You're pretty damn clever. It's all new pipes, so the hard bit's going to be um, sliding the new piece on. As you've got worn pipes, these ones were actually pretty, I've actually used quite a heavy duty gauge pipe here. Um, but yeah, it's just to get all these to slide on. See how we go, hopefully. It's not too hard. You got a heat gun, don't you heat it up? Yeah, I've got a heat gun now. I've been using this little bad boy for so much, like I haven't had one of these before. And it's awesome. You just gently just put a little bit of heat around the pipe and I uh, let it sit for a couple of minutes, give it another little heat, and generally they just twist off. So, yeah, for either removing or applying a new pipe, it makes it uh, life a lot easier. It's even got a light on it. Oh, uh, that's warm! Got all the gear and no idea, guys. I don't think so. I think <laughs> you've got an idea. What do you reckon, everybody? Comment down below. Tell him he's got some idea. Tell me how great he is. Oh, look, Paul was pretty great the other day too. Got me boxes of all brand new pipe clips. So a little bit of a backstory on our old boat. If you didn't watch our old boat videos, you can go back and have a laugh because we were in Asia for a very long time and that there that Lee's holding was a very, very big problem for us. We replaced these off Catalpa probably about seven years old they were. The clips, they'd had a little bit of discolouring. I thought oh, I'll replace them while we're in Asia. And uh, I shouldn't have done that because I put new pipe clips on and the new pipe clips probably lasted, if lucky, about a year and they all started splitting and breaking. They look shiny, shiny, and they all look good. It was just the quality of materials we could get in um, Malaysia wasn't Quite like the quality uh, we get in Australia or America. These are the same clips I had on Catalpa, and um, I always like the ones that are that aren't completely slotted white through. They're sort of pressed like that, um, as opposed to the ones with the holes. I find the edges seem to split, 
and if you want to go even better the bolt up ones but they do the job definitely had them for years on Catalpa and they were fine until I replaced them with the ones from Malaysia where I can fit two I'll fit two and where I can fit one I'll fit one was hard so I was like in. with all new pipes it's gonna be hard so that's all good that's in just about there I gotta tweak it and tighten it and just work it all and make it happy and nice. um yeah well, looks good what's happening behind the door you're being very loud we got some night works going on <laughs> Bella doesn't like showering up in the normal showers and she's like, Dad, let's get this shower sorted. Uh, no. So we're just disconnecting these old, the floor waste. We've got this floor waste here, we've got another floor waste here. Bella's just disconnecting these. Uh, they're half inch, these are three quarter. So we want to put three quarter inch in and they're gonna go into our manifold of our automatic new pump system and Dale has just removed this it's an old cap and we're gonna replace it with a new one so we got no leaks of water going underneath the shower um, this was barely siliconed in Bella seemed to reckon there was hardly any silicon so this is gonna be in for a long haul, so we might use a bit of 52 on this, just so it's sealed and done and dusted. Get two of those in and we'll go for a little bit. I might have a shower in the morning. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. I'm getting a bit tired, but I'll, I'll have a little go for a little bit and we'll pull these out, clean them up, we'll reseal these. We've got new pipe to put in here. It depends how easy we can feed the pipe in. Uh, get rid of the old pipe. And uh, pumps in, there's wires over there. It's not a big job, but it'd be pretty rewarding. It means the sink will work and the shower will work. The kids will have a shower so we can get to use their shower for a while. It'll yeah. be a finished project. Yeah, you there's nothing there's nothing finished. It's just we're waiting on everything. It's really hard yeah. and frustrating because I, I hate opening up little jobs and you can't do anything. It's like we open it up and I go to get a pump and it's like, oh, it'll be three weeks wait for the pump. And it's like, oh. anyway. Right. I'll leave you guys to it. See you in the morning. All right, I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Good night. We'll see if all goes to plan. If all goes to plan, we'll be showering in the morning. All right, guys, I'm just establishing cut wires, pumps. There was two pumps under here. There's a flow jet one here. Oh, it was not connected. This one here. Looks like it was um it was disconnected, not in use. Maybe the motor's gone or who knows what. But I'm gonna go with a different install for pump. But I think this was an old bilge pump. So it sits high and dry and it has an in and an out, so it would suck up from the bilge and blow out, but yeah, it's a little bit a little bit worn looking for my likings. Anyway. Here you go. But I found myself a nice little spot there, which uh there's a line that's got a vented loop on it and I'm going to use this for our bathroom for our um, shower sump and also that's a sour waste and sink waste. So I've got another pump I'm going to install today guys. We'll work out where I'm going to put it and make some room with all these 
pumps and pipes and wires that aren't in use. So to clean up through to here, through to the bilge area and through where I'm gonna be running some lines to the shower waste and the bathroom waste. And I've got a cool pump that I'm gonna use. And I'm not one for sensors and smart this and smart that, but I'm gonna try it because I like the concept of this pump. Here, I'll show you. All right guys, so this is a whale pump. It's an IC, intelligent control. So it's smarter than me. And how this works pretty much explains itself there. On this boat, there was a couple of wastes or grey water tanks that were under the shower pans, which are not in use, non-existent anymore. Um, so two options. I was either going to install a shower sump, which is technically a little box that has a pump and a float switch in there. So as grey water from, say, the shower and basin enters, the float switch rises and it pumps out. This is what I'm going to be using. And where this little manifold is the intelligent side of it. So as it detects water, it will activate the pump and away it goes. So they're not cheap and it is, it is a sensor. I'm not all for having sensors. I like manual things, but I think this is the way. Being a diaphragm pump, there's no issue in hair, sand, anything is just gonna pump straight out. I don't have a box to service and providing that this little intelligent manifold keeps working i think that's the way we're going to go guys so there it is here pretty much i'm going to hook up our shower waste to one side and our um, basin to the other side so as we either use the sink or the shower water will be detected and this will fill up and the sensors here and it'll activate the pump which will be in a different location where it'll be it'll be high and dry in that little cabinet I was just in a minute ago. I think it's great. No boxes. Um, they're not cheap, so hopefully it works for a long time. We'll go from there. This is the manifold and this is the wire that goes to the pump and Dad is just pulling it through right now. So with the line that we had set up, it will go in. I didn't realize how blunt the ones on Catalpa were. They are just so easy to cut pipe with. They're awesome. Well, I had to get from inch down to three quarter. I nearly stuffed up here. I don't actually have a lot of height under here, but I've managed to just put an elbow on um, this is all one inch and I was using three quarter. It's three quarter on the pump, but one inch on this or one inch and three quarter. That's okay. You can actually get floor wastes that come out with an elbow and I could have avoided using this manifold, but I wanted to run the sink and the shower. Where's your assistant? Playing guitar. How's it going? We're just about there, it's just It's a little tedious. bit longer than you thought. Yeah. It's just a boat project, honey. It's always longer than what you think. I'm pretty impressed with that pump. My concerns were that being automatic, um, and it could, who knows, it could uh, cause a bit of havoc later on, but I really love the concept of no shower sump with hair and um, sand and rubbish to clean out. I think it's a really simple system. It's um, providing that sensor stays okay. So I have 
uh, read a lot of reviews on people that have had them for like the last so many years and everyone seems to be happy. There's the odd person, but like anything, it's the luck of the draw, whatever you get. There's bound to be a dud out there, but um, there's a lot of happy people out there too. So hopefully we're gonna be one of those happy people. Do we have a backup player if it stuffs up? We do, so um, what I can do is pretty much change out the pump just to a normal manual one and just have a switch, which is how it would have been with this switch here. So it's all automatic. So say something did fail and we're in Raja Rampart and we don't wanna leave, or in Mexico, who knows where we'll be. Um, I can just wire that up. Yeah, so to, I'd lose so a day. A I'd lose pump. a day, but I'd be able to do it. Yeah, and I do have a spare pump. Oh, so prepared already. It's a used one, but it'd be enough to We're get out of trouble. We're already more prepared than you can tell by everyone's. <laughs> okay. Good job, honey. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, <laughs> thought it was an hour job and it's just consumed my day. You told me I could have a shower last night. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just one thing after another. The floor waste were like about three mil out, so I had to sand all those. And then assembling everything sort of underneath where you can't see. Um, I'm just running lines and it just, just takes time, guys. This one likes to do everything properly, which is a great <sighs> quality. No dodgy. No dodgy. It takes the floor waste from where I'm standing, the shower waste and the sink waste. I uh, can't really turn on the shower yet because everything's just all been resealed. I've resealed all new um, drain holes and I've put a new inspection outlet on. Hey babe, that's a job complete. One job, <laughs> finally. <laughs> anyway, that's it, we've got a drain. So Ooh, kids can have shower, their own bathroom now. Shower, floor waste. Well, they can't have it to themselves yet. <laughs> you have to walk to our room to brush your teeth. You can brush your teeth in your own room. Oh, I think that's hot. Oh, it's hot water there, Felix. Oh, you've even got hot going on there, Bella. A bit hot. <laughs> Too hot? Yeah, you gotta like, yeah, side to side is hot. Well, at least you got a shower, hot. Belle. A bit different than Catalpa 1. I know. What? So this thing right here came out of the sea chest that's in the engine room and I've got to gurney it and clean it. So this is it. It's like a, I'm guessing, some kind of filter thing. But yeah, got to put it on the dock and then clean it. guys so that's a little bit of what we got up to this week so I finished cleaning this it's pretty shiny now and I finished cleaning this no I didn't even start go on Bella well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that weekly update if you did that's great if you didn't oh well <laughs> okay see you guys next week bye